Hello everybody, today I'm gonna be cooking yuca with pork and I'm gonna start with the ingredients. Over here I have two pounds of um, pork shoulder and I'm gonna be using one lemon and one teaspoon of salt for this meat. And if you don't wanna be cooking the meat, you can always um, bite the meat already cooked, the chicharron or the carnitas, you can use that on top of your yuca, okay? So I have my yuca over here, and I already take off the skin to this ones, but I leave one for you for you guys to see. So this is how it looks like. And if you don't want to buy it fresh, you can always buy it frozen. And this is uh, the ones that I buy, and I use them for soup and a lot of things. Because you can use yuca for a lot of different recipes. So I'm going to be starting with um, with the yuca because that's the one that takes the longest to cook. So I'm going to start cutting this one and then uh, we're going to rinse it in cold water, okay? So we can just cut a little bit on that side and a little bit over here. And now... Uh, Yuca is real hard to cut, so be real careful that you don't cut yourself. So I cut my yuca like this with small pieces like this. And then I just do a little opening. And go like this, but real careful that you don't cut yourself. So it's already done. So I end up with all these pieces um, from four yucas. Um, if you don't know how to choose the yuca, you can always use the, the frozen one. That one for sure is going to come out real good. I already, um, I already rinsed the yuca in cold water. And I'm going to put it to cook. And over here I have culantro that I'm going to be using for the yuca. And if you don't find culantro you can always uh, use cilantro and I'm going to be using one teaspoon of salt and three garlics and I'm going to smash them in here okay okay I'm going to put all the yuca over here to cook I'm putting all the yuca here everything in there so I'm going to I'm going to start doing what I'm going to be putting over here in the yuca Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this in pieces to help myself a little bit. And uh, if you want to do it in the blender, you can do it too. Just put a little water in there. If you don't find culantro, you can always um, use cilantro in it and it probably tastes good too. Well, it does taste good. So we're going to put all this here, the garlic. Okay, it's coming out like this. So now I'm going to put the salt in here. Okay, right there. So we're going to put this in the yuca now. Now I'm going to put uh, my culantro here in the salt. And then you taste it for salt. If it needs more salt, you can always put more. 
like I tell you, the salt is on your taste all the time, okay? So let me mix it a little bit. Can you see how it looks? Okay, so the yuca is cooking over here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut all the vegetables for the, for the salsa. And then I'm going to do the salad that goes on top, okay? So I'm going to go little by little so that way you don't get confused. For my salsa, I'm going to be using four tomatoes, and they're the small ones. I'm going to be using three peppers. I got two, two serrano peppers and one small jalapeno, two garlics, and a piece of onion is one quarter of an onion, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of oregano, okay? And I'm going to cook this in one cup of water. So I cut the tomato and the, and the jalapenos and the uh, serranos and the onion in pieces. And I put one cup of water here. So I'm going to put the oregano here. And the salt. And the two garlics. I already put it on the fire. Now I'm going to cover. And here's my yuca. And it's already done. Look at this. And it doesn't take long, you know, if the yuca is nice and soft. So I'm going to turn it off now. And I'm going to be cooking the, the meat. But I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to remove all the yuca from the water. So that way um, it doesn't soak all the water. So now we're cutting our meat in small pieces. The size so that way you know it can cook real fast. And if you want to cook your meat first and then do cook the, the, the yuca. It's up to you. Okay. And I try to remove the grease so that way it's not too greasy. The yuca is real good. You can eat it by, by itself too if you don't like eating it with meat. You can just uh, eat it with, with the salad and the salsa and it's real good. Okay. So I'm going to cut... I'm going to cut all the meat like this in little squares. Like that. Okay, so now I'm going to start. I'm not going to put any uh, manteca or oil for right now to the meat. So I'm going to turn on the fire and I'm going to put the meat in here, okay? I already rinse it in cold water so it's nice and clean. And I'm going to put probably like a half a cup of water here. Okay, so our tomatoes are done for our sauce. You can see how it looks. So we're going to leave it here on the side until they get cold. And then we put them in the blender. And we have our meat over here. Okay, it start to boil, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to throw all this uh, water to save the meat, and then we're going to fry it, okay? You can use vegetable oil, or you can use manteca. We're going to put a little extra there, and we're going to let it warm up. And then we're going to put our meat, okay? Our meat. Now we can put the lemon here. And the salt. This is real simple. And we mix it. And we're just going to wait until it fries and gets a little crunchy, okay? 
Okay, so I'm still frying the, the meat. We want it uh, nice and crunchy. And if you want to make more, you just buy more meat. If you don't want to cook the meat, you can always buy it already cooked. Uh, my meat is already done, so I'm going to turn it off. And in this plate, I put paper towels. That way, all the grease can stay there. As you can see, it's nice and crispy. So I'm going to put it here. Right here. You see, I already have my yuca here, and I have the, the carnitas over here. They're real crispy. So now I'm going to make, a, I'm going to put the salsa in the blender, and I'm going to be making the salad, okay? Okay, I already have my salsa here. And I taste it for salt and everything, so it's good. And, and I'm going to start the... I'm gonna start the salad now. Okay, for my salad, I'm gonna put two cups of cabbage and I, I already shredded. it. It's right here. And I'm gonna put um, two carrots that I shredded too. And I'm gonna mix it here. And over here, I have the other half of uh, a red onion and I have uh, two radish over here that I cut in pieces like this so I'm gonna put it here too it very well now I'm gonna put one teaspoon of salt I wanted to salt it one tablespoon there and mix it real good and i'm gonna put the uh, i'm gonna put uh three lemon juice in here this is the juice of three lemons and mix it real good right there and try it for salt Yeah, it's fine. And I have my cucumber here, so I'm going to put it to the side. Okay, as you can see, we have our, our yuca over here. We just boil it. And I fry a little bit so you can see that you can also fry it. And there's a lot of people that they just uh, eat it by itself when it's fried. So this is our carnitas. They're real nice and crispy. And I have the salad over here, the cabbage salad. And I have the salsa over here that we make with the tomatoes and um, garlic and oregano and, and chile serrano, jalapeño. And over here I have the cucumber, okay? So I'm gonna be preparing a plate so that way you can see how we eat it. Oh, it's real good either way, you know, cook or oil. I'm going to put four pieces like that. And then we're going to put the salad. The, the sauce first. We'll put the sauce. And then we put the meat over here on top and cucumbers on the side okay there you go so there is one and the other one i'm gonna do it with the fried yuca so you can put the pieces that you want there's people that uh, they want more there's people that they don't want a lot and I was going to show you something. You see this little string? You can always take it off. 
when it's fried it's hard to take it off okay but when it's only boil like this piece you can easily take it take it off like this okay so you can do that too if you want to right there you see this one right here okay so we're gonna do this pieces right there and let's do the chicharro now you can put it either way you know right there it's not the chicharrones carnitas but some people call call it a uh, chicharron so the cucumber like this okay so this is how we eat it and it's real good you should do the recipe and this is how it looks when we're done so i hope you enjoy the recipe so like and subscribe